In this movie, we're going to set up our trifold flyer. Before you even get to this point, make sure you have your thumbnails done and make sure that you have a dummy or a mock up of your trifold flyer, which is basically a full size piece of paper just folded. Or you can have a smaller, like a mini little dummy. Uh, doesn't matter to me which, which one you use. On your dummy, what you want to do is you want to look at it folded, okay, already folded. And when you open up the first panel, which would be the cover of the flyer, the inside panel, the one that folds inward, you're going to label that with a B. The other panels, you're going to label with an A. So when you look at the panels and your trifold flyer unfolded, the inside of the flyer, you have three panels. The first one will be labeled A, the second one will be labeled A, and the third one will be labeled B. When you flip the flyer over then, your first panel will be B, your second panel will be A, and your third panel will be A. It's two sides, there's six panels, so there's three panels to each side. Remember, panel B will be a little bit shorter than panel A, so when we set up our master pages, We'll have two masters, master A and master B, and B will be a little bit shorter, and then we're going to rearrange our master pages into spreads to reflect what our dummy looks like. So to start, deselect facing pages, change orientation to landscape so that your height is 8.5. Remember, we're going to change the width on our master pages. Our margins, we want to be 1.5 picas or quarter inch. And our bleeds, we want them to be nine points or an eighth of an inch. Click OK. Go to your master page, your master A, double click on it. Make sure it's highlighted. Grab your page tool. And your width, we are going to change your width to three. Let's delete this first. Three point six eight seven five inches this is going to be panel a the larger of the two panels i'm going to go down to my pages panel click create new page that's going to give me my b master make sure my page tool is selected again once again go up to width and here i'm going to put the shorter of the two panels so the measurement you want to put in is three point six two five inches and this one's about sixteenth of an inch shorter than the other two so that when they fold it folds nicely it folds evenly and cleanly hit tab and I'm just gonna click on my selection tool and if you look over in your pages palette you have an A master now and you have a B master so one's slightly smaller than the other one this is for folding purposes now what you're gonna do is you're going to go up to your pop-up menu make sure you deselect allow document pages to shuffle otherwise you will not be able to move your pages around into a spread and now we're going to start setting up our spreads so when you pick up your dummy look at the inside of your dummy I usually work with the inside first which would be your after you unfold it your inside spread and you'll see that your pages are arranged in panel from left to right A A B and that's how you're going to arrange your spread here so I'm going to grab another A master put it right here and then I'm going to grab my B master and put it right here. So this is the inside spread. I can even take and make a little notation of myself in this side area here. Inside spread. Now let's get our outside spread. Set up. Flip that page over. Look at it. And you'll see the B happens to be the page to the far left. So we're going to go B, A, A like so. Grab my tool and I'm just going to write outside. This is usually what I would do at work also. And basically you're all set. So here is the outside of your brochure. Here is the inside of your brochure. You can treat this entire space like a spread if you want or you can take it one panel at a time or maybe use two panels. Okay. It depends on what you want to do. You got to keep in mind though on your outside one here, 
the panel A, this is going to be your front cover, okay? So you can see you got to have this dummy, otherwise if you don't have your dummy you're not looking at it, this is not going to make any, any, any sense at all to you. Um, but dummies are really helpful to help you visualize and to set up a document to make sure your pages are in the correct order and um, you are ready to go to work now. Have fun!